Off okay, it's 14th of the 3rd, 2018. No idea what's happened to, to the year. Mm. We're heading towards uh, British Christmas. summertime. It's lighter in the morning. Heading towards Christmas. Uh, heading towards <laughs> Christmas, as Barry says, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll soon be there. It's from Easter. It's my birthday for long. Yeah, it is. Right. right, so this podcast yeah, today is, is about person-centred planning and what it means to... To, to people who at some point will attend or have attended um, and I'm going to ask some questions of each person which you can chip in if you want when someone's talked uh, just to get a sense of what you believe a PCP is and if it's a value and you know do you think that there should be more regular or whatever I'm going to ask them questions and you can tell me I'll go around the, the table not literally um, I'm going to start with my good friend Gary, um, and the first question is, Gary, with a person-centred plan meeting which you've attended before, who needs to attend, which people need to attend a person-centred plan meeting, do you think? Uh, do I key workers? Yep. And uh, friends, family? Yep. And advocate? Advocate, yeah. Yeah. Which I don't think you've actually had before, have you, Gary? I have had advocate, but not nothing. Ah, yes, yeah, quite a while ago. But you haven't, in the last probably number of years, you haven't had a advocate with your, your PCP, no, no, have no, you? No, no, yeah, no, no. I mean, that might be worth thinking about that. Yeah. Because you are actually uh, supposed to be given that option if you want somebody else coming in with you to, to speak. I mean, you quite rightly did anyway. Yeah. Um, so, um, anybody agree or disagree with that that Gary just said about the people that need to attend? Anybody else you think needs to attend? Uh, His family. Yeah, Gary person. mentioned that. The person, yeah. The, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the Gary say something about friends. Friends can go. Yeah, on. yeah. Uh, can we? Can we? You know. Think of people that, that would attend. Remember, this is to input the person said um, the plan meeting. I mean, it's not going to invite the whole flipping family. And the manager, the manager. Right, why, the manager. Why, why would a manager need to be there? To write things down, have No, why should I? To listen to what we're going to say. Yeah, because that person's managing the service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, yeah, yeah. so they, they really need to be there to, to see what it is that yeah. perhaps needs to be rectified yeah. in that service, yeah? Anybody else? Um, Social worker. Uh, th that that would be a possibility if 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 something say a move on was coming up. Yeah. Let's talk of budget and things like that. Yeah. Psychologist. Uh, uh, again, if that's relevant. Uh, right. Uh. Gary, what do you think a PCP is? What's your idea of what a person centred plan? Uh, I've to discuss the things uh, that I've achieved and. Yeah. Uh, and I need to achieve. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Anything else? Uh sort things out. Yeah, so this about your service. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and do you, do you think that the first set of plan making is a good is a good place to, to deal with that? It, it's to talk about it's to talk about what what's in my mind. Yep. Yep, yeah. how, how you are in yourself, and we, we touched on that with yourself, Mark, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, th that, that is crucial, because you get a sense of how someone is and, oh, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. how the service <clears throat> you're given is perfecting mm. or whatever with that person. Do you think it's a valuable activity, Gary? Do you think it's something that's that's crucial and important? Oh, it is crucial. Yeah, Any, anybody yeah. would agree with that or disagree? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I personally think it is. I think. Yeah. I think. I mean, I'm a big believer in regular reviews with people, uh, and I mentioned earlier about early intervention. If you can get in early on, then you're not fighting so many problems and fires later on. <coughs> Sorry about the plug there, Trey. Um, so, w what do you think is expected of all the people who attend your PCP, Gary? What's expected of them? whether it be the manager, key worker, friends, family or whatever. Uh, what do you think is expected of them when they attend your person-centred plan meeting? Bear in mind you're the centre of this meeting. Yeah, I get things sorted out. 
get things sorted out. I think we touched on that with yours, you Mark, did, about, you yeah, it's not good all getting together and just talking shop. No. You know, you need to be saying, okay, right, this person said that, how can we move it forward? Mm -hmm. um, how often, Gary, do you think that these first set of plan meetings should take place? About every month. Every month? Yeah. Fair comments. Anybody else got any thoughts yes, on yes. that? Yes, yes. Every year, I should say. Right, a year's a long time, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. And if you're a manager, social worker or whatever, and you don't see that person much within that year, you're not going to know what's going on here, mm. really. So I would, I would say personally, 12 months is far too long. Yeah. I think there needs to be a, a, an interim where you check to see our reaction on these things that took place on that day. And that should be back the way throughout the year, until the next one. And then you're yeah. less likely to have problems with your PCP then. Uh, you, you get people who might say, oh, we haven't got time and blah, blah, blah. But if it's so important, you've got to make time. Because <coughs> when these were brought in, they were seen to be really important. And now, not so. You know, you said two years since your last one. Ah, yeah. Now, two years is a long time if people are sitting on well, problems. Well, was three years, wasn't you? Three years, yeah, Jen was three years. That's a long time to leave someone sitting with um, mm. concerns and worries, isn't it? You're not going to know how the how the are in your service, so that that that's crucial. Right, thanks, Gary. I'm going to move around now to to Mark. I'm going to ask the same questions, Mark, because uh -huh. this is all building towards the second part of the podcast, which will take place next week about how it should operate. Yeah. Um, we touched on who needs to attend. Would you agree what Gary said about the the people we talk about? Family. Yes, family. Social family, workers. Social workers. Uh, yeah. Uh, Psychologies. Yeah, if that's relevant, yeah. you know, I mean, it isn't always relevant, but it might be that person's gone through a difficult time and they're yeah. not necessarily together when they're, when they're in the meeting and the psychologist can probably support mm. them. Yeah. Um, is it a valuable activity, Mark? Yes, yeah. And yeah. why do you think it's valuable? Uh, Take your time, there's no rush. Uh, what would you expect from that when you go to one that would make it valuable what would you expect to happen to see see the family and see 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 how you're doing and all that yeah yeah similar to what gary said yeah. before yeah. yeah so you think it's a valuable process yeah. then yeah. yeah i mean i would echo that i don't doubt other yeah. people would as well um what, what do you think and again we've discussed this with you anyway mark and yeah. we've talked at length with train yourself what do you think is expected of all the people who attend your person-centered <coughs> plan meeting uh, what do you think is expected of them? See what you see. See what you can achieve. And uh, what do you think is expected of the people who attend the first centre plan, Jennifer? Um, What's expected of uh, them? Uh, what would you expect these people who turn up for your first centre plan? It's so important. What would you expect from them? Help. Oh. Support. Uh, yeah. Support. Help. What else, Jen? Um. What would you expect from your members of staff, managers or whatever, in your person centred plan? I know it's three years since you had the last one, but what do you expect from them, Jen? I would like them to be more calm and nicer, because sometimes they're not. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're nasty. Right, so you, you would expect yeah. respectful yeah. And, yeah. and be calm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what else would you expect from them? Anything else you think that's to be expected from the people who attend? Well, people made the effort didn't. I think everybody made the effort to go to, to this meeting. Yeah, we had, and again, that's good. You know, people take yeah. the time to attend because quite yeah. often people's lives are busy. But it's not not just um, that. It's about the attentiveness within mm. the meeting. actual meeting. Mm. And two of the things that people rarely ever bring up, uh, one is listening, because listening is a skill. Yeah. Yeah. Now you probably noticed there that on both counts I said to people there's no rush and it might be you've got to come back to that person to, to I always make a note of it anyway, uh, if they weren't quite sure of the, the question or they couldn't give an answer right away, you'd come back to them, you wouldn't ignore them, you wouldn't ask the question and then move on. So you have to listen. Yeah. yeah, take your time to listen to people. It might be by listening you notice someone's uncomfortable with the way something's gone. Yeah, there's responsibility on the person who's chairing the meeting to actually shift those dynamics so that person's not feeling mm -hmm. uncomfortable. 
it might be something as simple as well. I think Max feel a bit uncomfortable at the moment, so I think we need to be changing mm. tack. We'll we'll just come back to that one, Mark. When you feel a bit, you know, uh, and obviously again, I said earlier about you know you don't get into to arguments about a topic and bypass no. the person. You know that that should be in the mix. Talking about we're all moving the same way, basically. So, Mark, uh, how often do you think these things should take place? Uh, We've every, had every month. You you would go for every month. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Because I think we Jen you said twelve months. Yeah. Gary, you you I think were, every month. Yeah, yeah. Every month. Nigel, what would you say? I mean, we can't always. I can't always get that time uh, to, to do that. But we do. We do informally sit down and have a have a chat. So, would you say a month is is enough or not enough? Or well, a month is enough, but. Uh... I mean, a month's a long time, you know, it flies in quickly, but a lot of you've got to, you've got to think of that person's time, though, as well. If they can make it in that, within that four weeks, or they need a bit longer, or a bit shorter. Mm. I, I mean, for me, it, it, it's, this is embedded into to care. That time is crucial, and that's crucial for care. Yeah. Just the same as going to the bank to get your money out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would say, actually, the, the, the former is more important than the latter. Yeah, if you get that part right, the message is academic. Oh, right. Okay, so if we agree every month to meet at a particular time and place, uh, that's important, that's going to go ahead. Yeah. Yeah? Unless something really crucial comes up. Uh, and I mean, I've had this before where people have said, oh, well, well this, this came up, and actually it wasn't that important. But it got them out of that, that meeting. So if you're so switched on about these percentage plans, you make that time yeah. to sit down with your client. Yeah. Because in the absence of the clients, you haven't got a service. Yeah. End of. Yeah. Okay, Nigel, thanks, Mark. <laughs> Same again, you've heard responses from other people, but I, I, I would prefer that you have your own thoughts and not echo other people's. Again, would you agree about the people who need to attend, or would you add something onto that? Well, I agree with people that need Attend, yeah. So you think the pit we mentioned, like Gary mentioned and Mark and Jen, are, are, are okay? You wouldn't add to that, or? Well, would you have to? Have, uh, I can't think of anybody to add to, but you need people. Well, people so what I would say is the people who are helping you with your situation, you need them there definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I've got two friends who help me. Yeah. And if we're having a, a PCP, them two friends need to be there mm -hmm. because they're there helping you and plus maybe family and friends as well. Yeah. Because if, yeah. so, if somebody's helping you and you, and you exclude them, well, oh, it's just... Yeah, and I mean, make, make no bones about this, people are quite often excluded from yeah. these alleged important yeah. meetings. Uh, but uh, if that person's helping you, you they've got to be there. Because quite often the important people, if they're excluded, they're the ones that are going to make your job difficult. Because mm, yeah. you're going to have to do something. Mm. Anyway, sorry, thanks Nigel. So, um, what's your idea of what, what, what is a PCP to you, a person-centred plan? What does it mean to you? Well, it's about the person whose uh, PCP is. And what does it mean to you? What, what, what about the whole idea of a person-centred plan meeting? What does it mean to you? So you talk about... Stuff that you, you well, you, well, I say issues, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to always be issues. I mean, no, I, and I know maybe that the in inference there early on was best because we were talking about a particular situation, but it, it might be you're actually celebrating yeah. success and achievement, yeah. you know, which which quite often you, you rarely ever get in first centre plan means it's always issues when actually there should be celebration of what someone's achieved as well. Yeah. You know, I prefer to get the issues out of the way and then get to the to the celebratory parts. Um, yep, yeah, that's that's good, Nigel. Is it a valuable activity, do you think? Is it something that should always take place? Well, you, 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 you need uh, something to uh, help you. Because if something's happened and uh, you want to talk about it, you need to be there. Yeah, and it goes on and on and on. I mean, in Jen's case, three years, you know, it's a long yeah. time for, a, for a, an issue to... Oh, two to years, yeah, Two yeah. years for Gary. Uh, and there is an onus on services to make sure that, that you keep up with, with yeah, that. Because for me it's important, you know, I mean, obviously logistically a, a monthly one would, would probably be seen to be too 
too time consuming, but I don't think it is. You know, if you've got like two or three major players in there, mm. that's you know enough. And I'm sure people will find that time. Uh, again, you've touched on this, Nigel, earlier on. What do you think is expected of all the people who attend your person-centred plan meeting? What would you expect from them? I'd ask the person how, how they are. <coughs> and there's anything... Would you expect to be listened to? Yeah, definitely, yeah. They listen to what... That person, them people, they listen to what you've got to say. And will be vice versa as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, it's two way process. It's, it's two way because... So someone like you, you, you probably need advice on say, I've got this kind of thing I wanted to do, but you need yeah you need you, you extra say, uh, I to, would like to do some of but so yeah because I mean not, not nothing's ever straightforward no uh, you say, say you wanted, I wanted to go to the moon well well you could if you wanted to now <laughs> yeah, take, take some organising <laughs> exactly but that's that's the kind of thing you do you sit down and say no. I'll, I'd like to go to the moon, but... I suppose we have it every moon. Which is where the word moon comes from, isn't it? Yeah, right. um, how often, Nigel, do you think? I mean, we've had... Gary said a month and um, Mark did. I think Jen said about 12 months. How often do you think this should take place? Do you think monthly is enough? Or too much? Oh, same month, yeah, but... Mm. Maybe shorten that, maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks or something, maybe. Or maybe four weeks, I don't know. <coughs> I mean, if you look at logistics... Two or four to weeks or something. Not everybody can make it on one day of the year. There's always going to be people like psychologists, social workers, who have got other things to do as well. But what, what, what the way I used to do it was, you would have what I would call mini ones throughout the year, catch-ups every month. And then you'd, you'd inform the, the other people who were going to attend and then you had lots of time then to put that into the, the diaries so that, that was cemented um, because you're not going to get everybody together every every month it's not yeah. realistic but if you can get a couple of major players that's fine mm. yeah um jen we, we've touched on a on a few with you um and you mentioned about what you would expect from from people mm. uh, I'm not totally certain whether you actually answered the question is it a valuable activity you think it's something that should be in place well should yeah if yeah if, yeah. if you want to, to say about it they should be there mm -hmm. so it's a platform to but sometimes they just walk out the door and listen to you ah. well, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't mm. think that it's very nice for people just to walk up and don't listen to us. They never ever listen to us on saying. Yeah, it's, it's, they don't it's, care. It's a difficult one, that, isn't it? Because um, with the greatest respect, you know, we can organise these things. But, I mean, I used to, to do, like, observations when I used to go to these meetings to see exactly who was in this meeting and who was actually somewhere else. And we've done this one where you're kind of, you know, doing all this mm -hmm. and not actually don't say the name. Um, you know, we, 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 we talked about what's expected from people that attend your PCP and one of the, the fact that this person invited you so therefore you're respectful, you know, you're not checking your phone every five minutes under the table. Mm -hmm. You're listening to what the person's uh, saying and that, that that is crucial, that. Um, and you're right, Jen, I think listening's really, really important. And trying to get a handle on how that person's feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're not going to know everybody, but you can get a sense of how that person is. You know, and if you give them good eye contact and good body language, then quite often people will relax and they can tell you how they're feeling. Yeah? And if they're not, they're, they're just, they just don't care. Yeah, I mean, we have no um, control over people who attend meetings who don't care. We can't change the way people are. But, but remember, this is a person-centred planned meeting. Mm -hmm. So if someone comes along to your meeting that's disrespectful yeah. and doesn't give you eye contact, isn't listening to you, you ask for that person not to attend again. Simple. I'm just saying I don't want you back because you didn't attend. Yep, that, that's fine. Um, but I'm not advocating everybody to fall out and you know, exclude everybody. Harry, if I have my PCP, can I have you to come to it? Uh, I'm more than happy to come along to your yeah. PCP. And Tracy as well. Yeah. Because I'm a very person-centred person. I always have been the way I work. Because I would expect that myself. You know, oh, yeah. uh, and I mean, I have pulled people in meetings where I would have noticed this person's talking and they're completely ignoring them. You know, and I've actually said, Excuse me, you know, you'd actually, oh, sorry, normally it's a mobile phone. 
for their own. Mm. You know, that's disrespectful. I, I, if I was in my percent of plan and I had someone doing that to me when I was talking, I wouldn't want them back there again. No. Would you? No. You know, so you, it, no, it, it, it is about respect, isn't it? You know, so I would like you all to get a good sense of the person centre plan yeah. system. So that if you do go to yours and we are with you, you've got an idea of what how it should be. Yeah, and, and also more importantly, how it shouldn't be. Yeah? Yeah. Now I'm going to round off with asking Trey her opinion because she recently went to a person centre plan meeting with, with yourself, Mark. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you think that the attendance was correct? Was the mix right? Um, I think the pe the people that should have been there were there. Yep. Um, you know, the manager was there. Um, I think it would have been nice to have Mark's key worker there rather than any support worker. Uh, and yes, Mark's family and myself as an mm. advocate was there. And of course, Mark. Mm -hmm. So yes, it was the people that were there. And too many people makes it more difficult. So, absolutely. So, what what do you think each person's? Uh, sorry, what is your idea of what a person-centred plan meeting is? A uh, person-centred plan meeting is about the person themselves, their care, their well-being, uh, their needs. Uh, that's what it's about. Their progression, their successes. You know that kind of thing. Um, yeah, because I think Gary mentioned about uh, achievement. Yeah. And it's it is important that Gary that. Oh yeah. You know because sometimes it gets forgotten. Yeah. Or somebody else will tell that person how well they've done, which is not about person centred, is it? No. It's about allowing that person to be able to tell them themselves, talk yeah. about their own successes. Absolutely. Is it a valuable activity, Trey? Do you think? It is a valuable activity if done correctly. Uh, if it's done well, it's very valuable to the person it's, uh, it's about to allow them to progress and to allow them to be able to talk about the things they're concerned about and would like changed if there's a problem or any issues mm -hmm. about the services. And again, based on your experience, what, what do you think is the expectation on all the people who attend an individual's PCP? I think uh, one of the expectations before uh, attending a PCP is to have the understanding of what it's about and an understanding about that person themselves they're going to talk about and go to this meeting for. Um, be up to date with everything that's going on in their lives so they are aware if there's anything that might be troubling them. To know that person in some ways, you know, not just in passing. Um, to have an understanding with that person, to know that when they sit there and talk to them, that they're comfortable. So is communication crucial inter-agency? Absolutely, massively <coughs> crucial. Inter-agency and with family. Uh, everybody should be on the same page, we should be working together. And with the person they're going for the meeting with, they should have plenty of communication with them. So. If, if I said to you then, I mean, if I, if I say I didn't know about something in a person-centred plan meeting, could it be said that, that, that I should have really been proactive to find that particular information out? Or do I blame somebody else for not telling me? I think everybody has a responsibility to find out information about the person they care about that is in that care, uh, whatever their relationship is with them. So... If they care about that person, they want the best for them, they will t make an effort to find out about them. Now, if it's a family member, you, you do that, you, you find mm -hmm. out. You, you don't wait till somebody contacts you, you contact them. Mm -hmm. You contact the services. You know, if the person they're, they're looking after has a difficulty explaining things, they get in touch with a key worker or support workers and say, right, could you please explain this to me because such and such is having difficulty explaining it. And I would like to understand. So it's down to everybody to do that. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 when I wrote the question down, what's expected of all who attend? Mm -hmm. That's pretty much um, what I was trying to say because I think there's there's a, there's a responsibility f uh, for all those people to make themselves aware of what it is they're going into, 
uh, and also get a handle on the situation with someone um, that they're actually going uh, to attend the meeting for. Uh, get a sense of how things have been for them and you know how it's going. And then you're not going to be sitting there a little bit like a dummy because you don't know what's going on mm. in that meeting because it can make it quite problematical. And you definitely don't say in the meeting that you didn't know about something. That's not a, that's not an issue. There's no there shouldn't be an issue around that at all. If you don't know, you don't know. You know you don't blame somebody else in the meeting because because you've got along. You should have a, a handle on what's going on. Uh, and if you didn't know, then just ask a question. You know it's quite simple, but you don't end up at loggerheads because that's pointless and detracts from the reasons why you're there. So thank you, Trey. Oh, I didn't ask you how often you think this should be. Um. A month to six weeks. I think any longer than that, then there could be things that are happening that aren't being um, acted on, and and that can cause problems for the person who's in that service. So worrying about that causes anxiety for them, stress for them. So it, yeah, no more than six weeks. Mm -hmm. Everybody echo that. Or anybody yeah. in disagreement? I think you all were much the same, weren't you? Really. <coughs> And I think that needs to be fed back to your own services when you, whenever it comes up that you would like them to be more often. Or even just to sit down with, you know, someone you get on with, like, say, Gary with Kim, mm. you know, and do a catch-up on that particular day. Yeah? Uh, and you should keep records of what it is that's been discussed in the PCP. Yeah. And don't get me started about the confidentiality uh, issue because everything is relevant in that uh, PCP. Mm. It's, it's a personal centred one, so therefore if anything at all impacts on that person's well-being, it has to be brought forward. Yeah? You don't hide things from that person or other people that are major players. So, uh, thanks everyone. Anybody got any questions at all or comments on this podcast, please feel free to, uh, to go on the blog or the Stepping Stone to Facebook. And any good comments, we'll listen to. Any bad ones, we'll take absolutely no notice whatsoever. <laughs> So that's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you.